Oh shoot, what up, YouTube fam? This is your boy C Spat. Oh um, man, I just got in the just got in the mail. Um, I got my Renal G DC to DC 60 amp battery charger. Okay, all right. So you'll see. I just posted a video where I did an installation subwoofer install in my Honda Accord, which is a hybrid. And being that it's a hybrid, they don't have alternators. So all it has is a DC to DC charger to keep what it has is some type of charge in there which steps down the high voltage to keep the battery the cranking battery charged up so i had to purchase this Jeez, this is a monster i purchased this so that i can um keep my battery charged up for my system so i got it off amazon because of the awesome return policy yes so I ordered, I found them on Amazon and I found this one actually used on Amazon from the manufacturer. So it's cheaper and it still looks brand new. Look at that, not one thing wrong with it. Don't even look like it's ever been mounted. Maybe they ordered it. Oh wow, look at that. A little crack right there. Now that's not a small defect. Let's see. How the heck that could have happened? But it's, I don't know how that could have happened, but everything seems stout. Now that's plastic too. Okay, so. Um, all the switches are flipped up, flipped down. You gotta make sure you put the switches in the right location for the type of battery that it's gonna be connected to charging on your vehicle. So make sure you definitely go through the instruction manual and check all that stuff out yeah and go from there but in the meantime what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing hooked up in the car man this is like the size of a freaking amplifier <laughs> god wait it's gonna be taking up all the space in my trunk so let's go over to the car and take a peek all right guys check it out it's a little windy out here so i'm trying to avoid all the wind but this is where we at look at the size of this thing in comparison to the brutus elite iphonics 35th anniversary 2500 watt amplifier golly yeah so we're gonna be kicking out some serious amperage back here but we need that to keep this battery charged because like i say we don't have an alternator in this vehicle so we gotta have some means of getting some juice to this battery to keep this system going okay so this is what we're gonna have to do this is what we got to do this is the renergy dc to dc battery charger 209 bucks you can find it on their site or you can go on amazon and find one that's like 159 or something like that which i did with this one saved about 40 bucks and go from there so let's go ahead and i'll figure out how i'm gonna go about getting this thing wired up that's what i'm trying to do but i have to go buy more wire okay i'm not in the mood to go buy any more cable none of that all right, so here we are. So what I'm gonna do, I got my source coming from the battery right here, and I got my ground right here. I need this going into the Renergy so I can get that. So what I'm gonna have to do, since it's not long enough, I'm gonna take this off. I got plenty of wire here. I'm gonna cut this, run it from my ground. Try to run the least amount of wire as possible and go from there, okay? So stay tuned. All right, gang, so I just hooked my charger up so you guys can see the status of the battery. It's at 50% right now, and the voltage is currently reading, let's see, 11, okay, well, it's just 11.8, 12%, okay? All right, so I do notice that at this state of the battery, the battery, when I got the base up on the system, it does cause the amp to clip, so as far as, like, the base to drop out, so... 50% is when you get to that point where, you know, you gotta revive that battery. So I gotta go to the store and get some more wire to run on the output side. I got the input side taken care of. We just gotta get this output side good, I'm going good. And we'll be good to go. I'm just gonna run a positive over here to the positive. So I need about two feet there, <clears throat> about three feet of negative, one, two, about three feet of negative to make it comfortable. Two feet of positive, three feet of negative, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, check it out. We're back out here. We got everything that we need to have gotten done completed. And as you can see here, we got the DC to DC battery charger connected. The great thing about the 
what I got back here in the back, okay, I got the LC2. It, it produces its own remote signal. It gets its own signal from this sub, this little speaker back here. I got it hooked up to the house output speaker, which is a, a subwoofer, and it creates its own remote signal with um, signal sense internal and high voltage system. So it's got some type of coil in there that amplifies the signal and turns it to a 12 volt positive. So I was able to run my 12 volt positive to this right here. This doesn't turn on until I turn on the car because this gets a signal from the speaker. So yeah, that worked out perfectly. All right, so great alternative for somebody that needs to get a remote connection in their vehicle and don't even you don't even need the audio as far as car audio if you just need something to create a remote signal and all you guys are speaker around that's all you need and you want to make sure as you can see here i got a ground from my battery the only thing i got connected to this battery is the ground because the ground circuit with this increases the signal like if i disconnect my ground this will be going on and off when it's grounded to the same source as a speaker your signals everything is much more solid okay so i got the negative grounded just so i can get that ground signal through the wire going to the amplifier in which i got my ground connected up here to this ground here all right and that keeps it on even when i turn the volume all the way down okay so this right here i got my float and all that stuff set based on these dip switches here you can hear it going on in the office because it has a float charge state. Once it hits, once it hit that level, it it turns off and it turns back on and on and off. It does its thing, you know. So it's doing what it got to do to maintain the right voltages. So that's all that matters, okay? So man, we finally got it done. I just had to run to the store and get some terminal connectors. Um, this is what I got right here, man. This thing I was, thought I was gonna have to run to the audio store, but I went to Walmart. And I just got this right here, battery cable post. As you can see, I cut this part off right here. Cut that off. And I didn't even need to put a connector on it. That worked out perfect. Took my drill, opened that hole up a little bit more so the screw can fit. And I'm gonna take this one back. And everything else worked that I already had, okay? So we got voltage source coming from the battery. Voltage right here, this is this 12 volt negative. It's grounded to the vehicle. We got 12 volts going to our battery positive 12 volts negative going to our battery and of course we got 12 volts off the battery positive negative going to the amplifier okay so again gang that's it man brought to you from rental g all right this right here is how to get that battery charged in your hybrid system okay shoot you can't beat that man no alternator we're maintaining power now i do i would say that being that this is operating and because it's using the battery voltage up front, which is maintaining this voltage off of the car, it will ca probably cause the car to run a little bit more. Not too much more, but I would, I would say it's gonna cause the car to run a little bit more so that that battery up front can maintain charge. Not sure how that system works. I'm sure it gets its power from the batteries in the car. And when the batteries come down, of course, yeah, it's gonna cause the engine to kick on to build charge some batteries back up. So yes, it's gonna cause the car to run a little bit more. Um, not too much more, I'll say, but definitely more. So let's keep that in mind. Um, you can also put this on a switch if you want to. I got mine automatic, but you can put the remote wire to turn this on on a switch and go from there. It also has a limiting current um, connection here. If you connect that limiting current to a 12 volt source, it um, limits the current. Now let's see as far as the specifics of what it does with this limit limiting current feature. All right, so grounding, DC output, D, D plus ignition, like I say, and this is for, this is to turn it on, and LC current limiting. Charge, this DC, DC battery charger features 50% current limiting from the rated specification when connecting the LC terminal. Current limiting is instant and recommended to be connected to the same location as the battery plus. Alternatively, you can toggle current limiting to your liking by connecting the LC terminal to a starter battery position positive terminal. In this fashion, current limiting will always take take until removing the LC wire from the battery terminal to revert to the normal amp rating. Um, amp rating, if it's rated at 60, current limiting would be at 30. 
so that's if you want to limit the current um i don't really want to limit my current um 30 amps is good but i could hook that up if i realize that my battery is maintaining charge based on the use that i put that i put it on so with that being the case i'm gonna see I'm going to use my system to the fullest and check my batteries and if I'm using, if it's not maintaining, if it's maintaining charge real good, then I'll take advantage of the current limiting feature. But until then, rock on, get all the juice that we can to that big hungry amplifier, okay? Isn't it what it's all about? High current, get it there so that that thing can pump. Um, I'm pretty sure my bass is going to be a whole lot better, man, because I've always operated just off 12 volts and below because there, there being no alternator. But this right here is really putting out, so it's great, man. This is great. All right, gang, check it out. I had to do a little quick change real quick. Um, I was getting a lot of, from all the bass, getting a little bit of shaping noise from the amplifier against the box. So I put the amp down here, put some screws back in these holes to block those holes off. And hmm? can, you, can you tell them to watch Oxford? Yeah, daddy let them know when we get some stuff on there. But yeah, so yo, that concludes it all though, game. Run G, DC to DC charger, the high fun. We got a whole setup right here. And uh, you already know what time it is, man. In the hybrid. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Great. But again, this is your boy C Spec Kurt, man. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, I am out of here, man. Peace.